handshake brothers you are wasting a lot of time hiyo hiyo handshake wa Kenya ndio bado wameweka akili hamwezi mkasikizana arakisha sio lazima tukue na handshake sara misa robert makoha wangoho bunge la manage president na akuru manyata now my issue goes directly to former deputy president and now president of the republic of kenya mr dr william samoy ruto i'm aware i'm overhearing from the people and from the newspaper that you plan to introduce another statutory deduction in the month of october that kind of deduction is called nhif you are going to deduct it at a rate of 2.75% umechosha wa kenya sana na mambo ya taxes sasa ni wakati waache wa kenya pia wabaki na pesa kidogo kwa mfuko ili waweze kutekeleza majukumu yao umelemaza kila sekta ya nchi yetu tukufu ya Kenya in the name of development uweze endea loni ya kujenga super highway wakati huo mtu hawezi lipia matibabu yake ya hospitalini and then unakuja unaongeza gharama mwezi wa kumi unasema utaongeza 2.7 housing levy ushapeleka juu nssf usha introduce zingine Kindly note that Kenyans are now tired and they can merely they can rarely afford two meals in a day as the head of state waje kudanganya mataifa mengine kwamba uko sawa mpaka unaita mkutano wa climatic change in Nairobi unaweka wageni kwa mahoteli mzuri mzuri unawadanganya wao umejijenga na wananchi wako wanakufa njaa na wananchi wako wanashindwa kulipia wazazi watoto wao school fees. Hiyo task force yenye ulileta kushughulikia masuala ya education imefail sisi kama wazazi. Kwa sababu parents can no longer afford university fees and students are being sent home due to failure to clear the school fees. Now we are anticipating that kesho tukue na viongozi ambao watasukuma agenda ya wakenya kesho tukue na president kama wewe kutoka miongoni mwa vijana wa leo lakini kama hawezi wakapata pesa ya kulipa karo ya shule kama hawezi wakapata pesa ya kulipia mitihani kama hawezi wakapata pesa ya kulipia field work ya masomo yao watakuja kuwa viongozi wa kesho namna gani watakuja kuwa president ama CS ama senators namna gani endesha inji kwa namna ambayo inafaa Handshake brothers you are wasting a lot of time Hiyo hiyo handshake wa Kenya ndio bado wameweka akili hamwezi mkasikizana Arakisha sio lazima tukue na handshake Arakisha hiyo hiyo haraka sema hakuna handshake sisi turudishe wananchi kwa uwanja Hiyo tu ndio mbinu ambayo sisi wananchi kikatiba tunaruhusiwa na tunaweza tukasukuma serikali nayo Handshake ni muhimu lakini sio lazima I repeat if you cannot speed up the process and give Kenyans conducive environment for their businesses and other humanly activities be informed that we are ready and we are going to march back to the streets kwa haraka haraka nikimalizia hapa na kuru Suzan Kihika umefail the health sector umefail the health sector because The state of our mortuaries is in sorry state. We have very old coolers for the bodies. Juzi serikali iliua vijana wetu wakati wa maandamano. Tulipotembea kwa hizo mortuaries iko na harufu mbaya sana because of the poor and old machines that are supposed to be used to preserve the bodies of the dead. Tuko na coolers kama tatu peke yake. Na unaona hizo coolers one is supposed to accommodate a total of 48 bodies due to the situation that is unavoidable you realize that a single cooler accommodates a total of 80 bodies that is against the law that is against what is supposed to be there 
Therefore, it is upon you to stop your cheap threats and consider putting the county of Nakuru health sector at Wake up, install or instead the medical officers that you dismissed in March. Make sure they, you backdate their pay that is stopped because they have families too. Put your hospital departments in order. Give them required salaries and remuneration. Wasababu mtu mwenye anafanya kazi mzuri pia akuwe motivated. Madaktari ukienda huko kutibiwa wako mudi, wako na asira kwa sababu wenzao wamefutwa, kwa sababu mishara yao iko chini na bado mnakata pesa zao. So mtu hata akienda kutolewa damu kwa laboratory ina take a whole day ujapata results due to very little personnel na wao naingia badala uombe national government more allocation to make sure una hire these doctors wona dismiss wengine wanaenda nyumbani not that 2027 haiko mbali na wakenya watapiga kura kikabila vile wali make mistake naruto anawahangaisha we mama governor utatumwa nyumbani so it is either you shape up or you shift out tunakupea honing ya mwisho wakenya watabembeleza wewe na wanatoa taxes Kulipia ushuru at the end of each and every month. Thank you very much.